The people of Constantinople may keep their possessions. There will be no looting. In return, you will open the gates of the city and kiss the hands of our Sultan. Sultan Mehmet will be the one ruler of the Romans. Say, O oh Allah, O oh Lord of the kingdom, you give the kingdom to whom you will and take away the kingdom from whom you will. And you bestow honor on whom you will and you bring disgrace to whom you will. In your hand lies the betterment of everyone. You are surely powerful over all things. There is no deity that is worthy of worship but you and I would like to exalt you because you are worthy to be exalted and I associate no partner with you and I ascribe no lords in addition to you God you are worthy of all the praise and you take the kingdom from whom you will that's what we need to realize here in Islam God gives and God takes away if you would read the Hebrew scriptures it will tell you that Right there in the book of Job, God gives and God takes away. God provoked Israel to jealousy by raising up a Gentile messenger. And right now, he is provoking the Arabs to jealousy by raising up al Mahdi. Now, you just got to deal with that and let that sink in. In God or in Allah in him lies all the power, and he gives to whomever he wants. Now, we're going to talk about mountains today, rocks and stones. All of these things play a part in all religions. Now, the Bible speaks of stones. The nation of Israel spoke of stones. Christianity speaks of rocks. Islam speaks of mountains. What is all this going into? You'll be the first to hear it right here in the house of David. That is all going into the stone that the builders rejected. And that is al Mahdi, The most misunderstood prophet. And that's because our people who claim to be scholars have ignored the Bible. And right now, they are ignoring the law and they are ignoring the bill on the table. Now, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, Ahud is a mountain that loved us and we loved it. Do you really think he was just talking about a mountain? Open up your mind. He's speaking of a person. He's speaking in a metaphor. The prophet Muhammad, he reminds me of a parent that was just hiding gifts all around the house for that special son to come on the scene in the future and to receive all these gifts. The prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He saw me. This is seen on your Kaaba stone right there. It is chief on the corner. And the prophet Isa, peace be upon him as well. He told us that the stone that the builders rejected, this same stone, this same man has become chief. Now, we are reliving the days of the battle of Ahud in the battle of Haram. Because right now we are getting ready to battle about this mountain you see the prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him he was the only prophet to give us the name of madi he was the only one the bible speaks of him but he's hidden in the scriptures he is spoken of in metaphors this right here might be alarming to you this might be a news flash to you why was the prophet muhammad told that he was not a father he was told that he's not a supervisor he also was told he is not a poet he was told all these things because maddie is all these things maddie is like a daddy 
the way Allah revealed to me, he is like a daddy. This is the guy that Paul wanted to be. And that's why he has a spot right now in hell. He has a prison named after him. He has a prison with his name on it. Bulas in the Arabic tongue. And Paul is in hell because he wanted to be Madi. This is the guy that Satan wanted to be so much. He was always envious of Al Madi. That's why he told the prophet Isa, jump off of this mountain. Okay, it is written in Psalms 91, the angels will bear you up lest you dash your feet against the stone. All these things were referring to Maddie. He is divinely protected. Watch the movie, The Book of Eli. You can't get away from prophecy. Prophecy is always going to catch up with you. And it is written and it is seen all over the ministry of Matty. He is seen in Michael Jordan. He is seen in Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, Muhammad Ali. All of these great black heroes of the past were always a picture of Matty, the stone. Now, my name is Lamonte, the mountain. And if you paid attention, I also told you my dad's name is Monty, you see the prophet Muhammad spoke about a prophet whose name would agree with his name. He said, if the world was going to pass away, God would lengthen that day for one man. This one man is solo man. This is the real Solomon whom the prophet, peace be upon him, chose to live poor so that he wouldn't take from his kingdom. The problem with the church and the problem with the Muslims is that they can't see. And that's because they don't understand types and shadows. Even Jesus taught types and shadows. He told you, just like Jonah was in the belly of the whale or in the heart of the earth, he said, so would the Son of Man be. He compared himself to the J. He compared himself to Jonah because God deals with us in types and shadows. If you walk out the house right now, there will be a shadow following you. Everywhere you go, there will be a shadow following you. God has made sure that everywhere you go, you have a shadow. As it is written in the book of Acts that Peter healed the multitudes with his shadow. They didn't even have to touch him. All they had to do is be up under his proximity, under his shadow. And there's coming a day, and even it is here now, that the world will be healed through the types and shadows that I teach right here in the house of David. Why did I call my channel the house of David? Every time I think I'm doing something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is exalted in might, is always up to something. And he showed me that the house of David is the house of al Mahdi, And God had the Arabians in his own trick bag. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been witness against you. And so he purposely made it seem like your last and final bang, your final Mahdi, would be Arabian. And you thought he was going to be Arabian. He got you. He got you. He always does us like this. Just think of the Jews. They was expecting a prophet of their own to show up. And who showed up? The prophet Muhammad. A man of a whole nother race. Do you see? And you can see spiritually. I can look and see that disappointment on their face. Just like you right now. The anointing is on me. Not you. God is showing me the world affairs. Not you. You lost in a sauce. Right now you dressed in rags. Trying to look cute. Answering all these questions on YouTube. When you can't understand why your nation is bleeding. Why your nation is being massacred. You can't understand that because Allah is not talking to you. 
The reason why y'all suffering right now, you Arabians, is because you've been ignoring the Bible. The Bible tells you the El Madi is black. You've been ignoring Bilal. You've been ignoring the man that's been waking you up. And let me tell you something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me the Prophet Muhammad was a servant. And he told me I was the heir. To whom's right it belonged. He told me that Quran was my book. It had my name on the cover. And I am the prophet of Allah. And it's just going to take some time. Before you swallow everything you've been saying. About this little black brother. Talk about he the Mahdi. He the Gita Mahdi. Mm -hmm. You're going to swallow it all. And I'm holding you accountable. The Bible says kiss the son. Lest he be angry with you. Now Jesus was a pacifist. He didn't believe in war. He said if you live by the sword. You will die by the sword. The scriptures say kiss the son. Lest he be angry with you. And this is all going back to the Kaaba stone. That little black stone. Surrounded by the silver is a picture of Lamonti. I'm surrounded by the Veras. I am the stone in which you builders are rejecting and you will keep on rejecting. And Allah is going to require it of you. That's how blind we are. We don't get it. We don't understand why we have a Kaaba and we have a black stone on a corner. We don't even understand that. Okay, and if you would open up your eyes, you can see that is a picture of Al Mahdi. He is the ruler of the Arabians. And you are rushing to kiss this rock. And the Al Mahdi is here. And you are ignoring me. Now, not all of you. Okay, I would say 99%, 99.9% of the world do not know I'm here. Okay, because my YouTube channel is low volume, but some of you do, some of you do, and Allah is recording, everything is being time stamped, and we want to know what's your excuse, when it's all said and done, we're going to ask you, what have you done with the stone, this is the reason why the nation of Israel would stone one another, when they stepped outside of the Mosaic law. All judgment was placed in what? A stone. And al Madi, he's been charged to clean up this house. Allah has charged me to clean up this entire world. This is the chief prophet. Now Jesus said, I didn't come to bear witness of myself. But he said, if I bear witness... My witness is true. And that's exactly how it is. The world is so blind. The prophet, peace be upon him. The prophet Esau was like a John the Baptist for me. He told you that because he knew that you guys would be so blind that I would have to be my own witness. But let me tell you something. I am not alone. There is an invisible army surrounding me. There is an army that is unseen. And this army is the army of the Lord. There is an end time army here. And I pray that God would open up your eyes. Okay, just like in the book of Kings. And you can see that invisible army surrounding me, protecting me everywhere I go. Matthew 21, 42. Jesus said unto them, did you never read in the scriptures? That's your problem. You got that joystick in your hand, okay? You out to eat. You playing games. You on your show, your favorite show, and you not in the scripture. That's why you can't see, and that's why you blind, and you looking at me dumbfounded. The scriptures say, did you never read in the scripture the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. You know that little black rock you got on the corner of the Kaaba, that's a picture of Lamonti. That is a picture of Al Madi. And you still blind. You still blind. Going on. This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous 
in our eyes. Now, I watched a short, a YouTube short, and I was about to skip it. But it was this little girl. This little girl had faith. She asked because she kissed the black cobblestone. And they turned her down. And so she went and sat down and she asked again. And she went up again. You see, that was Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, putting me in remembrance of the rejection I'm going to face. And this girl went back up. And lo and behold, she was allowed to kiss that black rock. And that is a picture of kissing the sun. The scriptures say, kiss the sun, lest he be angry with you. And I'm going to find that woman one day. Because I know Allah is bringing me to the forefront. And you know what? I'm going to look at you the same way I'm looking at you right now. Okay? I ain't worried about nothing. I got God on my side. I don't need no nines. I got God on my side. We going to ride. Okay? Now, let's go to verse 43. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Now, he was speaking to the Pharisees. Okay? The chief priests. That is a picture of the dead Muslims with no life in them playing games. Okay? In the sandbox with the Christians. And that is a picture of the Christian church. The Christian church is the Pharisees in the scriptures. The Christian church is Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing, whom the church don't even know they worship it. Paul is the founder and wannabe father of the Christian church. But let me tell you something. The real Mac Daddy is here. The real Daddy Mac is here. The real Al Maddy is here to clean up his father's house. Verse 44, and whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. There's repentance. There's repentance available for you. But you're going to have to humble yourself. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. And sinners plunged underneath that flood can lose all their guilt and stains. And that's not talking about someone hanging on a tree for you. That is talking about the fountain seen in Zechariah 13 and 1. A fountain for uncleanliness and sin. God is doing a new thing. And he made men stones. Just think about the prophet Esau. When he was on earth, he was like a stone. He was like a cobblestone. Everybody was trying to touch him. Everybody was trying to kiss him. And there was a flow coming out of him. And that's the same anointing on the Al Matty. You spending all your time at the doctor's office. And they can't do a damn thing for you. You're supposed to be a Bible-believing, divine healing, practicing Preacher, and look at you going to the devil's children so that the devil's children can make you feel better. Where's the healing? Where's the power? Where's the power in Jesus' name as you suppose? You Christians are running the biggest Ponzi scheme, and I have been exposing you day after day. Now, let's go to Zechariah 13 and 1. In that day, this day, there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. There is a black cobblestone walking around right now. Okay, right now it's active walking around. You rather kiss a rock than kissing the real rock. What is wrong with you? I would like to take you to Zechariah 3 and 8. Here now, oh Joshua, this is where Jesus' name came from. Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. For, behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. Now watch this. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua upon one stone shall be seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. This is the day, today. We are living in a brighter day than yesterday. Every day the light is getting brighter and brighter 
and brighter. Right here in the house of David, we have the truth. The house of David is home of the al -Madi. And the prophets of old, Moses and the prophet Isa, were black. They were black people. And the al -Madi is black. It is seen in Song of Solomon. I'm singing for you right now. No other guy is black but Kari. Oh ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon, look not upon me because I'm black, because the sun had looked upon me, my mother's children were angry with me, they made me the keeper of the vid. I am black but calmly, oh ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon, look not upon me because I'm black. Because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. Why are they mad at me? Why are they mad at me? Because I've been that sun hanging out in the sun way too long. Your racism has got you in trouble. Allah has been witness. He's been witness. Now what you going to do now? What you going to do now? You going to disown the prophet Muhammad? Okay, now that your Mahdi is black, okay, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told you about the Mahdi, and he told you he was the ruler. The Prophet Muhammad seen me, he told you, a hood is a mountain that loves us, and we love it. Now, a hood, in my name, I used to go by the hood apostle. Allah's been showed me I was the hood apostle sent to the streets to those guys to those nappy headed guys. OK, all they need is the real power of God. That's all they need. The church is bankrupt. The church ain't got nothing. OK, the real power of God is here today. I'm the hood apostle. OK, and right here, the prophet said, a hood is a mountain that loves us and we love it now my dad name is monty brooks stone by the brooks or stone by the water my name is daquant the defunct the defunct okay the air lamonti lamonti is going into the mountain and clay my last name is clay and that is going into the earth so here we have a mountain by the water and then we have a mountain of the earth that's an awesome combination now according to Islamic tradition when you are performing voodoo evolution you have to use water but if you don't have no water guess what you can use you can use some clean earth okay I am the fountain Allah has revealed to me I am the fountain. I am the stone that the builders rejected. And it's the truth. I don't care what you say. The future is going to figure me out. Now let's go to some more scriptures. Let's go to Matthew 3 and 7. But when he, speaking of John the Baptist, may Allah be pleased with him. He saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Come to his baptism. That's metaphorically going into the Christians and the Muslims. Come to his baptism. And he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. Watch this. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones. He's speaking in a metaphor. He's speaking in a metaphor. He is talking about Al Matty. John the Baptist talked about him. Okay. He talked about him when he was talking about he will thoroughly purge his floor. He will gather all the wheat into the barn and he will burn the chaff with unquenchable fire. He was talking about Al Madi. Let's get another one. This is going to be Isaiah 6 and 5. Now keep in mind, Isaiah and the prophet Isa, peace be upon them both, they both have the same name. Actually, Isaiah, 
You can look it up. It means salvation of the Lord. Isa just means salvation. And if you go to the book of Luke, chapter 4, the prophet Isa, peace be upon him, was given the book of Isaiah. Out of all the books, he was given Isaiah. And I teach in this house that the prophet Isa was God's Isaiah, sent to open eyes and sent to blind people. And right here, this is Isaiah. This is his situation. This is his calling. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal. Why did it say live coal? There's a rock that's alive. Wake up. In his hands, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips. Thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. There is a rock walking around that will do all the above. For the scripture says, There's a fountain coming from the house of David that is for uncleanliness and Sin. So right here we have the prophet Isa or Isaiah. I like to say the prophet Isa in a metaphor. Kissing a rock and his sins is gone. So look how these Christians sound when they say, oh, you, you stone liquor. This man just kissed a rock. This Israelite kissed a rock and his sins was taken away. Okay, we have the truth right here in the house of David. So to sum it up, these stones... These rocks, these mountains, is all pointing to the ultimate rock. Okay? Think of the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was inside a rock receiving revelation in a cave. God clave water from a rock two times for the children of Israel. What's up with these rocks and water? What is all that going into? All of this is going into the fountain available to you today for sin and uncleanliness. Now, we just tackled that. We tackled that truth. Now, who's going to be the first person to step up? I'm showing you all these infallible proofs. Okay. Who's going to step up? Who's going to step up? Okay. Because there's no way you can say you love the prophet Muhammad. If you don't love Al Mahdi, okay? The prophet Muhammad, I'm going to tell you once again, he said, Ahud is a mountain that loves us. And we love it. He knew the truth. He knew that you guys was in for a surprise that your Mahdi is black. I wonder, I want to see how fake these people are. I love seeing hypocrisy. I want to see how these people go from loving Allah and, and loving the prophet Muhammad to walking away. Okay, I want to see that. I want, to, I want the truth to come out. Ain't nobody got time to sit around fake worshipers. Okay, let's get all the ball worshipers out of the nation of Islam. I'm here to do that task. And let's end it with the last and final scripture from Joshua. And Joshua is the name Jesus. And according to Islamic tradition, according to the Hadiths, Mahdi will meet the prophet Isa. Now, I've been singing about Jesus returning for years. I have about 30 albums plus available to you online. I've been singing songs like... He's coming soon. Yahweh has sent this servant. He's coming soon. Oh, he's coming soon. Had no idea that I would be the one to meet the prophet Isa. So right here in Joshua 24 and 27, you'll see how significant this verse is. And Joshua, my Hebrew Israelite brothers would say, and Yahshua, or Yahawashai is what they say, said unto all the people, Behold, this 
stone shall be a witness unto us. For it hath heard all the words of the Lord which he spake unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you lest ye deny your God. He's speaking in a metaphor. Stop taking everything literally. He's speaking in a metaphor. He's telling you al Madi, the descendant of David, who would sit upon the throne of David, descend and descend and where did al Madi come from? Now this is the truth. When I came here on earth, when I was born, because I was born by a woman, I tell you this, I do remember that hospital room. As a baby, that image is stuck in my mind, okay? I can't explain it, but I remember when I was born. I do. I do. It's kind of like just, like you just crept in, okay? Now, Allah knows best. He never went into detail with me, but I know for a fact that when it says a descendant is not just going into um, an heir or a person from that family line. God's word is multifaceted and it is going into an ant because according to Islam, according to the Hadiths, we have wolves that talk and guess what? We have cows that talk and guess what I love the most? We have a hard working ant that spoke. This ant spoke. He spoke about Solomon. He said, hey, watch out before Solomon steps on you. And Solomon is a picture of al Madi, the last Solomon. This is going into Deuteronomy 33 and 2, how he shined from Paran. I'm not taking nothing from the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. I love that brother. And he loved me. And he seen me. But this is going into saving the best for last. And al Madi is the sun that is going to shine. I am here. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.